Today, we are going to watch what I would have to describe as a pretty cool uh, sort of a music video about the right to travel. I mean, I dig the beats, but let me tell you, I don't dig what this guy is saying in the video. I'm going to break this video down as we watch it, but before we tune in, raise your glass, your cup in the air. Sip with me. It tastes better when we sip together. Cheers. Let's watch. So what's going on here, man? Uh, you know, I mean, I, I, I was trying to tell, you know, everybody about the right to travel. You feel me? Like, when you look right there. Yeah, right there. That, that, that's my place. And everybody get plates. You know, the regular plates that you get in the car and everything. But that's for commercial vehicles. I'm not working. I'm not employed, I'm not in commerce. You know, you have the right. The only time that those rules apply to you is if you're working or in commerce. The, uh, you know, meaning of driver is someone who's employed or in commerce. I mean, either one. I don't need a driver's license. It's the law right here. The law, you know, you just look at this document right here, right to travel. I told you you would like the beats, and I also like the slick production of this video. It looks good. They're on the street. The camera work is nice, but all the facts this guy is providing you are wrong. He talks about the right to travel and the exempt license plate. I'll tell you one thing that that license plate will not exempt you from. It will not exempt you from a jail cell. Don't do it. It's a bad idea. Uh, then he goes into uh, how if you're not working, you're not employed or in commerce, that's the only time the rules apply to you is if you're employed, you're working or you're in commerce when you're driving in your car. Um, hold on a second. Wait, wait. What's that? What's that? Oh, that's reality. That's wrong. Wrong. I can tell you what these myths are, are based on. The commerce myth comes from 18 United States Code 31, which defines a motor vehicle as a commercial vehicle. Well, let me tell you a little rap about that. That only applies to the criminal code and it's for jurisdictional purposes. It does nothing to affect your actual vehicle and whether you have to be licensed or not. I can tell you, you have to be licensed. The other part of the commercial myth uh, comes from Bouvier's Law Dictionary, a 1914 law dictionary that is no longer in print or used at all. But I digress. Our gentleman here has more. Just look it up. And it'll give you all the information that you need. If you're not in commerce, if you're not in being employed by anybody, you don't need to drive this place. I mean, and, and a lot of people need to need to know these type of things because. Uh, and then how does that work when it uh, like when you get pulled over? Like uh, when they when they pull you over, uh, we're, we're not under contract. You know? So what it is is a commercial agreement. When the cops pull you over, like for speeding, you know, pull you over for speeding, or they pull you over for you know any traffic violations. If you're not in commerce, they don't they, they don't apply to you. So. What you have to do is you have to um you know this is you have to go through this is UCC one three oh eight. Everything that, that we have, the commercial license, the, the license, registration, everything is is a contract. You know me? So once you once you go in the contract you you agree to them terms. So the DMV can take your car, they can seize your property, put it, you know, make you get insurance and everything, but you know and, if you really do your homework, you'll see that you don't really need it. So I'm not just telling you that it's right to do the homework. I'm mean, right to travel. And here, the fine gentleman says, to look up the right to travel, it will give you all the information you need. Yeah, it will give you all the information you need to get 
pulled over, get a ticket, pay a whole bunch of money, and possibly even end up in jail. Not a good idea, Bubs. Not a good idea. He says any traffic violation, you need a contract or to be in commerce. See, this is one of the sovereign citizens' favorite things, is to frame everything as a commercial or contractual transaction. Then they can say, well, I didn't agree to that. You can't hold me to it. I didn't agree that murder was, was a crime. You can't hold me to it. I didn't agree that 10 kilos of cocaine was illegal. You can't hold me to it. No, this is my personal property. I get to keep it. Not true. The Constitution allows for those things to be regulated by the states and the federal government. Cut out the nonsense. But, oh wait, there's more nonsense. Because I'm, I'm always used to wondering, like, how this DMV charge me? This is my car. This is my personal property. You know, with, with, with the tags, they give them permission to go in your car and, you know, do a lot of things that violate your rights. With that, with that tag right there. So you're telling me you, you driving around, you're not paying no surcharge, you're not paying no anything. So what happens when you get, if you can get a ticket, if you violate, if you violate the law? I go to court. You go to court. I go to court. Right, right, right. See, what a lot of people do, they just go in there and they go talk to the prosecutor and they take a plea bargain. Right. You go in there and talk to them and they sign a paper and they right. it's awesome. don't nobody fight. Right. It's a you have the law, just say it right here. I have 15 different case laws. The Supreme Court case law. It tells me that I have the right. A fresh argument is that the car is property. Yes, it's your personal property. But he says then that you can't regulate it wrong. They can regulate the car. They can regulate your personal property. Like I said before, that kilo of cocaine is your personal property. Trust me, it's regulated. But let's get to things that are legal. They can regulate your houses, your guns, your cars, your business equipment, the list goes on and on. It's all legal. It's all allowed to be reg re all around, allowed to be regulated. Joe can't talk today. Now, Supreme Court case law, also wrong. I'd like you to read those cases and dig into them, sir. I'm sorry. The UCC, when they go to the UCC, it's not law in every state. It's not law in every state, though most of the states have adopted it. Regardless, it only applies when and there is an actual contract okay it's only going to apply with an actual contract or in an actual commercial transaction let me tell you something driving your car to your friend's house is 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 not a commercial transaction okay and regardless whether it is or it isn't doesn't matter for purposes of the law Boy, the nonsense just keeps coming. Okay, you see, you're supposed to Sign reserve your right. You reserve your right. UCC 1308. I reserve my right not to compel or perform under any contract, commercial agreement, or bankruptcy that I did not enter knowingly, voluntarily, or intentionally. And furthermore, I do not and will not accept the liability of the compelled benefit of any unreversed contract or commercial agreement. So that completes our video, which I conclude was was pretty, which I concede was pretty cool and pretty well done with some professional cinematography there, but all the information in it was wrong. Don't put that crazy exempt license plate on. Okay, yeah, if you get a ticket, you will go to court and you will lose, okay? You will lose. Unless you actually comply with the law and get a real license plate, then you go in there, you might win. But then that's not a win for the sovereign citizens, okay? And do you really want to go through all of that stress? Dude, this information is wrong. Stay away from the right to travel. It's bad for your health and it's bad for your pocketbook. Thank you for watching the Common Sense Academy. If you enjoy my content, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. I'm Joe the Lawyer. You can also sign up for my email list and get a free PDF on a history and examination of the sovereign citizen movement. Oh, the show is now called Attorney Audits Agitators. Thank you.